All right, guys, we qualified on the front row. We're starting second. It's Ryan Hornaday for the season opener Daytona in the truck series. Here's our setup. I'm gonna let you look at it one last time. We got pretty high PSI. I'm gonna actually lower it a little bit so that way we have a little bit more handling. We're gonna go at 25 for the race. Hope to the Lord that works for us. Suspension, because we had to have that because our truck was not very fast. We're ready to go with that. And we got up to second. So actually I'm gonna go to 26. Let's see what happens here. Alright, here we go guys. We're going green. BB ready. Good luck, Charm BB, the beaver, is here. And he says he's ready. His tail's wagging. He wants us to go green. Valentine's Day, the Valentine's Bear, the Valentine's Bear is here as well. Ready for us to go racing. Now I got him looking. Got the other one looking as well. American Bear and all that. So here we go, guys. I'm going green right now. A minute and 15 seconds in. Got our Jimmy Johnson hat on. Here we go. Start 2023. Let's start it strong. NASCAR 06 Total Team Control. We're underway at Daytona for the Truck Series. Driving is Ron Hornaday. Underway at Daytona International Speedway. Already a huge lead from the start, which is not ideal for the trucks. You don't want to do that, especially on some speedway racing. And there's a big run on the outside, which I went way up. On the other game, I usually never get that good of a run, like from a, well, that good of a start. But they catch me really fast, as in, as in the years past, they would not catch you like that fast. Usually, you'll be pretty fast. Wow, look at this race! I never seen, I never seen this much aggression out of the game before. On lap one, I mean, you're seeing three and four, four wide back there at times. On lap one trucks something you see today but back then you didn't and plus the trucks are a lot harder to drive back in these days than they are now nowadays you just keep your foot on the gas and you'll be fine as long as you're willing to stay on the gas but here you have to lift a lot well, oh my gosh we're gonna get dumped AI's being retarded I think. Said we got a loose truck. And there is total team control, so we could swap to our teammates, but I don't want to lose the front of the field. That's the main thing. Oh, Brendan Witt. Brendan Witt, last year, they literally the truck that wanted to win the championship on the game last year is again up front. I still haven't put my name in on this game yet. It just says player. Gotta hold it on the bottom because another truck wants to go up. Oh, slightest contact with Brandon Witt. We can't win the race. We'll do like we did last year and try to get his most laps led. Gain 10 extra bonus points. Right now we got five. Getting a lot of skill points right now staying up here. The main thing. Steady racking up those skill points. Every second you're in the lead. And as long as you're sharing a draft, you get skill points and pass cars or get close to them or make aggressive moves.
Oh, what a push by with the 99 guy. I think the blue one, he had a run too, but the 99 had an even bigger run. It's not Carl Edwards, I don't think, driving it. I don't know who's driving it. Right now. That blue truck is a great driver, though. I mean, or ballsy driver being up there on the high line like that and staying in it and not even hitting the ball. My truck can't do that. Our truck's just fast. That's about it. The handling's not all there. We got as fast as we can get it from Daytona, though. I don't want to go up. I don't want to get spun out. Let them go if they want to go. We're not going to bump, we're going to do clean racing, but we're going to get really close to try to hold this lead, especially as the first pit stops come in, because we usually lose ground during pit stops. Oh, I knew it was coming, I knew it was coming, oh, that was even worse. Well, at least the caution's out. The only reason why the caution probably come out wasn't for me, it was probably for that blue truck. Oh, well, why would, well, I don't think we got any damage there. Oh, what in the world? I guess he got stuck on pit road. Oh, I'm glad I didn't go into pit road. That's the main thing. Wow, I just got ejected. I don't think they have any damage. It's too early to pit, I feel like. I mean, that's only 25 laps, though. Looks like nobody pitted, thank God. <laughs> Our truck just don't want to, you have to really turn the steering wheel. I got a handful of steering wheel. We have to turn all the way just to hold it on the bottom. That's what I'm doing with. Like what Michael Waltrip, like what Michael Waltrip's car was doing in the Daytona 500 at the start. Had a really loose car, had a handful. Really do a whole lot. I mean, it'd be nice just to get a win or a top five here, like I know we can do. But just like before in the heat in, in, uh, in 2002 that I just did. Dang, they're aggressive. Straight up three wide around here. Just immediately three wide. Oh, they put. Oh, they put Get off the wall either. Well, we're gonna pit this time. Whoa, our car went airborne for a second. Our truck went airborne. Glad we didn't flip over. I heard this game you can flip over a lot. Really. They're just really aggressive on here. They're going three wide and three wide in a truck. You're gonna you be loose and lose it a lot. Even if nobody pits right here, I figure they will at the end, which might help us. Yeah, I figure they're gonna pit and they did. I'm getting lower it because even though our truck might be slower if we lower it, but we need we need more handling. I don't think there's really any bad damage on the truck. We're gonna take all four tires because this is the truck series. You wanna take two, especially here at Daytona. I mean, all new tires. Brought the PSI down and I went back to the regular default pit stop. So we're gonna be slower than what we were, but at least we'll have better handling and we'll need that handling. I'm sure we have some dents on the truck, but at least that ain't too bad. Some people might have took two tires there. See what we can do. Brandon Witt's right in front of us, though. So we're, if we have to, we'll follow him through the field. We'll have to see that. Now we'll find out how fast our truck is in the draft. Either way, at least we're still in the top ten. If you remember last year, that's pretty much where we finished at nearly every race in the top ten. Just consistency is the only thing that kept us alive last year. Truck series, you got to be aggressive. I'm going for it. We're 
gonna lose ground now as soon as you shift to fourth for some reason. I just lose ground. Oh. We're losing that lead pack. Why is the player get me, the player, so much slower than the field? I don't get this. Even if we didn't have hardly no damage, which we don't really have a whole lot of damage, we still can't catch that lead pack. how aggressive they are in real life. They're not this aggressive though on a video game. I've never seen them this aggressive before in a video game. Why do you want to go to the outside, man? I can't go to the outside. My truck won't stay up there. Nice run. Thanks for the good push. Every time I'm just holding my breath right there through that corner. It's kind of bad being the last corner there. Oh, I didn't mean to bump him. He lost the truck series. Unlike the cup series or Xfinity series, it's okay to bump. At least the Daytona. You don't do it at Talladega, though. Bro, why did you check up? I want to go. Oh my gosh. Pack racing right here. One team car when it's actually a truck. <laughs> good run enough to get up down to the bottom and pass them. It's like right there, I got the wheel cranked all the way to the bottom and it's going up the track. So, I just don't want to stay on the bottom. Oh my gosh, I'm about to lose it again. Oh, what, the, what, the, what? That is your fault. That was my teammate, but I don't know why he decided to do that. I almost took out three trucks right there. Along with me. And I was coming at nearly about five miles an hour faster than him, so I don't know why he would want to do that. I could have told my teammate to block right then, but it wouldn't matter though, he lost too much ground. So. No teammates, this is this is it. I'm the first of uh, this comp this elite truck group here, so we're in fourth right now. Kind of in a good spot to be honest with you. If we could just stay here. Usually at the end we fall apart last year. I don't know if that's going to be the case this year because the trucks, they, they made it where they handle different. There's so much change is going on. Or right, if you're going on the bottom, I'm going to try to go with you if I can. But the truck will stick. <laughs> We're never going to slide up right here. I'm able to hold it in the bottom right now. Got new tires and stuff. feels weird instead of using the X button or analog, I have to keep lifting with the trigger. Something I'm not used to. And it feels weird doing it. <laughs> you don't feel weird with the gas pedal because you're sitting there holding it, but then you have to let off all the way on it. I'm just gonna stay right here, try not to lose him though. Stay here to about the last lap. Why do they love to run up high? I'm okay with it right now because we got a good gap.
what happened to the field? There's only one truck back there, then there's a whole, then the field's way back there. Like, I don't know what happened there. We can make it. We have just enough to the end. It's a matter about our tires that they'll stay. Remember, the low the fuel gets so too. Also, the trucks start sliding more because you have lesser weight and they're already light in the rear end. If we can't win, we're definitely locked in for second. So either way, this is a great race. Second's the first loser. We already finished second on Heat 2002, so I don't want to finish second again if we can help it. And I hope there's no caution, because there's always a caution in these races. Especially nowadays, you have overtime all the time nowadays. If I'm going to pass, I'm going to have to be aggressive. I want to go all the way down that white, that yellow line. I already see it now. We're going to do it on the back stretch. We, know we might have to be better in the corner, possibly. But we're going to do it on the back stretch. Break, win or lose. We can beat and bang, probably, to the line, though we're far enough ahead of the field. It's the first I've actually been ahead of the field before. I mean, that'd be a photo finish there if I would have just went to the bottom right there. If that was the last lap. It's all about timing, though. Our teammate, I'm glad he didn't come up the track right there for some reason. Your teammates love to be idiots. That's also why I don't like making friends, but also you don't want enemies because they'll wreck you. Then if you have friends and they get in the way. He's like, help me, help me. <laughs> all right, guys, here we go. It's going to get intense. Trucks holding together really well. Oh wow, we get such a run right here at the end. And it must, it, it has to feel bad being uh, the leader right now when you know the truck behind you is better, and knowing that he's going to make that move on the last lap, and you just got to time it right. It's like Kelly Albert and Donnie Allison right here, 1979. That's what it feels like kind of screwed up that corner there. We had such a late run there. I'm going to wait to the last lap. We come to the white flag this time. It's less than about three miles from the finish now. Right about here is three miles from the finish. Coming with two and a half miles to go right here. Last lap. I saw the opportunity so I went for it. I wasn't sure if it was a good idea to wait to the to the uh, back stretch, which maybe I should have waited to the back stretch. I don't know. We're gonna find out though. Oh, it might be bad because we don't have the run. And this time we're gonna have the run all the way short final here. Lift. Left, Larry. You're talking about Jason. What the hell? What was that? Well, that's going to be the race, right? All right. That's like Kevin LePage of the field right there. And I'm staying in the gas. Somehow, I didn't go airborne. So, he's going to win the race after going airborne. What the? What? I don't know. Who was that? Who, who was that idiot that decided to come up the track? And now we're Bill Leffler. So I think that's Jason Leffler's son. So Bill Leffler decides to come. Well, not Bill Leffler. Whoever that. Okay. Him. Ryan. That's a fake driver. I don't even know why the hell he decided to come and mess with the leaders in the race. It could have been a photo finish. I don't think we would have won it. If I would have waited to the on the back stretch, we might have had a shot. But I had a feeling. Usually, like uh, on this game, they know they know you're gonna. You know they know you're gonna pass on the last lap if you haven't passed before that so if we were to come on the back stretch I can guarantee you instead of running the middle line like the truck like uh like Bill Leffler was doing that whole race he would have been on the bottom because he knew I would come down to the bottom and try to pass so Bill Leffler wins the race though but I don't, I don't know what that was and I was steadily back on the gas the truck was slow to take off I don't know. What a what a what a what a finish the uh, 
dramatic finish. I don't know what you would call that. Let's see the highlight reel. We might be tied for the... Yeah, right here. What the hell? He, he, he went airborne and then popped a wheelie and won the race. Airborne, popped a wheelie and won the race. This is one that's going to be talked about for a long time. You may never, ever see another race like this ever again. Especially the finish. And, uh, look at this. Look at this. Look at that. It, I didn't even get the worst of it. All I did was bump him because he come up into me and then just the rear of my truck barely scuffed the wall. That's it. And then we have donuts out of her. Then the truck looks fine. That's the finish. The truck looks fine. We should be count our blessings though. But I don't know what the hell that was about. It's like they just slowed the truck down. Like our truck just kind of went backwards for a moment. Well, I might have hit reverse for a second. I, I was trying to slow down after I saw that I was actually getting hooked toward the wall with them. So about right. I'm still in the gas, still in the gas, and right there I hit the brakes right before we made contact. I mean like right before they made contact in the wall, which probably didn't hurt me as bad. It probably kept me from, from uh, spinning out. It would have finished 15th or 20th if that would have happened. Look at the gap we had on the rest of the field, and even the third place truck. Somehow there's a truck all by itself back there that was able to stay... We can watch this over and over again. The fans definitely got what they their money's worth this year in 2005. Or 2006 total team control here. But yeah, why did he come up? It's like he lost control of the truck. And he wasn't my rival before. He and wind up making rivals with Bill Leffler now, which is not good. And then rivals with him, which I don't know what the hell he was doing. That's something we could watch over and over. See, why did he come up? Honestly. And I can't really run that well on the top if I was to follow Bill Leffler through the top. So I don't know what the hell that was about. Well, still had a good finish, an awesome result and everything, but I just don't know what the hell that, that kid's thinking. They both popped the wheelie. <laughs> they both popped the wheelie. I went airborne earlier, like slightly airborne from hitting the apron, and then and then and, 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 and finished second. And then yet they hit the wall, go airborne, pop the wheelie, and win the race. One more look. They should have went over right there. The one that went, Bill Leffler went should have went over, honestly. The truck helped him. It's like he went to block me to help Bill Leffler, and then when they hit the wall, he still helped Bill Leffler. Run horn a day. Horn a day. Oh my gosh, bro. Now we're rivals with him. So there's the points. We got 10 moss points, they got 5. So we have a hundred all together we had 180 points as they had a they have 185. So they should have about five five points uh, uh or fifteen points more wait what? Get this right. So he has a hundred and all together 185 and I have 180, okay. So we're five points back. We're five points back. Literally started second and finished second. And who started first? I'm looking at the wrong one. Damn! Started dead last, finished 19th. That ain't too bad. But it's kind of normal for Daytona, you never know. What? 22nd? 33rd? What the hell's going on here? Third place, finished 8th, 15th. This is like Daytona, you just got point you just got people all over the place. Okay. And oh wow, look, unlucky number 13 must be Taylor Swift's lucky number 13. Okay, so who who started first? Your pole sitter. Your pole sitter, our teammate, Kevin Harvick of all people, what a great driver. Wind it up. And Kevin Harvick's the one that done that stupid move that he went to come down. 
when I was already there and another truck was already there. Golly, at two speedway races, they really need to fix the AI. Damn. More awareness. Come on. Started, or posted, or Kevin Harvick started first. I would have got the pole then if I was racing regular truck series drivers. It just happened to be a part-time truck series driver but racing the cup series. The cup series driver. If there wasn't anybody getting beat in the smaller series for pole or the race, that would be a cup series driver. Kevin Harvick started first and winds up finishing all the way back in second before last. One lap down in 35th. It's all over the place. Fifth place back here. Fifth. What? What? What is this race? Okay, I'm happy I finished second then. But this is just a messed up race. <laughs> okay. The cherry on top. Be the first loser. Might as well be, because that's just a loser of a race. I mean, a nice race, all in all. Don't get me wrong, but just a, a, where everybody finished that. It's just ridiculous. So now, our next race, race two, would be the American Racing Wheels 200 at California Speedway, which is now like, I think, like, uh, um, AAA is a, is now Auto Club Speedway. So California Speedway, 200 mile race, race two at 25, 25 laps, again, at nighttime, just like at Daytona. So... Hopefully we can win there too with the same setup. Or at least all we need to do is just try to finish. If we can do better than last year instead of finishing in the top 10 all the time, let's try our best and finish in the top 5 at least. So that way we can guarantee to definitely win a championship because we just won a championship last year. But I know this time if we can steadily finish in the top 5, there we go. And I think we only had uh, four, 4 or 5 wins in the truck series all, all together last year. Maybe 3 or 4. Like I think about 4 is what we had. Four, I know for sure, but it might be five. We had a lot of runner-up finishes last year, though, in the truck series. We had, like, over ten runner-up finishes. Then a lot, then counting the wins all together would be, like, 15. And that's out of 25, so that's, like, over half. All right, guys. Let's look at the only thing we got to look at now. Just look at the standings, baby. Here we go. So there you go. That's because he won... This is John Hamilton. Instead of Bobby Hamilton, John Hamilton. At least Bobby Hamilton ain't our teammate. <laughs> so. Well, there you go. We're pretty much in last. Come on, baby! You were so good right there. Oh, man. What a race. What a race. What a race. What a race. That's, I can say it over and over. What a race. Oh my gosh, what a race. That's one to talk about for a long, 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 long time. Wow, 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 wow. All right, guys. Well, what do you know, baby? Just crazy. Jeff Gordon, Jimmy John, Jeff Gordon, Jimmy John Cena, bring it on like biscuits and gravy. Wow, wow, wow. Well, guys, before I go, definitely the um, and of course Jimmy Johnson right here. Definitely JJ. The most craziest race I've ever had in my life. Um, well, one of the craziest, uh, but the uh, craziest that y'all have seen, though. So, uh, I've had some single races before that have been way crazier, believe me. And in my early cruise before I started recording, but that... I feel like we should be tied more than this instead of, uh, being, being just five points back. Uh, but, uh, man, we should have won that race. Well, two things could happen. Either we should have won that race... I always should have finished 25th, being honest with you. Our truck was a fast truck, a loose truck, and we couldn't hold the top because when we go up to the top, it just wants to get sucked up toward the wall. Our truck was a handful, but it was fast. That's the main thing, and that's what I wanted for Daytona. The truck was, I could never really get it there, 
I tried a lot of stuff, but I was just able, the only thing I could do, honestly, was just make it a little looser, and then do the PSI adjustments to make it a little faster, and I kind of worked on the spoiler a little bit, and made a few adjustments there, and that was about all I could do, so, uh, yep, till next time, this is Randall, and I'll catch you in the next one. Whoa, we're gonna do it. We're definitely gonna have to do another short on that. What a, what a season so far this year. I mean, the modifieds, you already have somebody go airborne. Then in the truck series, yet I go airborne for just a second on the apron. I mean, and that's kind of what you see nowadays. Not a whole lot of damage. Like, usually you have a lot of damage. My truck didn't have a whole lot of damage, just a couple scratches. Which is which, what you see nowadays. The kind of racing on there is really, honestly, something that you would see nowadays. But back then, you just didn't see that aggressive. We were going, they were going four wide, so that's what was going on in Heat 2002. So, so far, we've been going four wide, and that's another thing. We're also doing NASCAR 14 this year. I might as well call this the year 2023. We're going three wide at, at every single track because uh, on super speedways on, on, uh, for 2015 and, 2000 and, uh, and, 2000 and NASCAR 14 and NASCAR 15, you basically all you see is four wide racing all the way around there at least always three so 2023 is dedicated for three wide racing i already see it already it's gonna be a wild ride and i have to have a lot of patience and gonna be a lot of pushing because i love to push so uh till then guys i'll catch you in the next one